Very rarely does a player in Lawrence Guy's situation make it. The junior defensive tackle suffers from attention deficit disorder and dyslexia, a brutal combination for football players. Despite the disorders, Guy is one of the premier defensive tackles in the Pac-10 and boasts a 3.41 GPA from last spring. Due to his performance on the field and in the classroom, Guy has been named one of the quarter finalists for the Ronnie Lott Trophy. I believe I, I earned the award. All the things, actually, the things I did, all the things I proved and achieved in my lifetime, I feel like that award is like meant for me. Guy was diagnosed with attention deficit disorder when he was three, but wasn't diagnosed with dyslexia until he was 20 because his high school did not test for it. When I finally found out it, everything clicked, why certain things was harder for me to learn, why I had to learn a different way. While it can be hard enough for one in Guy's situation to succeed in classes, it can be just as hard on the football field. Collegiate players spend countless hours studying plays and usually take two to three weeks to learn a playbook. For Guy, it took three months. We would go home, kind of take, uh, go through the plays, you know, have a playbook with us, and, and then on the field, we would just, we would, we would rep them like over and over again, just so he would have it down. Like, it's hard enough just, as for me, to, to memorize everything on top of schoolwork. And so, I mean, that, I congratulate him for, you know, overcoming that. In his spare time, Guy mentors children with disabilities, hoping his story can inspire them. I enjoy seeing the kids' face. Like, most kids think that nobody else is out there like them, and nobody's been to the struggles they have. And when I tell them my story and everything I went through, you can see the expression on their face, and like, that's what I'm going through. Like, I understand what he's talking about, and if he can make it, I can make it. For State Press TV, I'm Andrew Bovin.